Federal aid for airlines comes to an end today, and several companies say they'll be forced to furlough employees. That decision affects thousands of people, including workers at United Airlines. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is live for us at Bush Intercontinental, where United staffing could be impacted by this. Brittany, good morning. And good morning to you. Uh, United Airlines plans to furlough roughly 13,000 workers, and this really hits home because this could potentially impact 1,000 employees here in the Houston area. They're uncertain, they're disappointed. They felt like, you know, this is completely out of the hands. It's not something that the airline industry created. <laughs> Thousands of United Airlines employees won't be going back to work today, including a thousand in Houston. Victor Hernandez is an assistant general chairman with the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers, and the union represents positions like baggage handlers and gate agents. If they don't get the help of Congress to go ahead and extend the airline payroll support, then people are going to street. Take a look around the airport and it's easy to see the crushing effect the pandemic has had on air travel. The airlines agreed to hold off on involuntary layoffs or furloughs in exchange for billions of dollars in government help. But that ends today. Airline CEOs went to the White House just over two weeks ago to ask for help, but Congress has yet to reach a new deal. Both sides can come into an agreement to go ahead and keep us employed. In a message to employees, United called it, quote, a very sad day and said, quote, we implore our elected leaders to reach a compromise, get a deal done now and save jobs. The airline said it can and will reverse the furlough process if Congress acts in the next few days. So the furloughs will potentially be affecting airport operations as well as uh, in-flight services. That includes flight attendants. And we are told that pilots were able to reach a deal earlier this week to avoid furloughs. That will be until at least June of next year. Reporting live at George Bush Intercontinental Airport, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Terrible news at a terrible time.